one day off in, in New York, you know, you grew up not far from Midtown Manhattan. What what do you have planned? Do you have anything fun planned? Uh, see my parents. Um, that's big. That's a big, big thing. Big thing on my to do list. But I mean, still on a road trip, so you gotta follow the magic rules. They, uh, the team is not scheduled to practice on on Tuesday. They made that publicly known. So do you at least get to see some friends? Do you get to spend quality time with your folks? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to go home. Try to go to the house. If not, meet up with my parents for lunch. My sister and her fiance or whatever. So I'm gonna get a good, good chance to see my family on Tuesday, most definitely. Not to get too mushy, but you're going back to New York as an NBA player. You've been there a couple times now, but what does that mean to you? I mean, you, you kind of you're accomplishing the goal that you wanted your whole life, right? Yeah, I mean, it feels good. It feels good to go home. It always feels good to get that hometown love, but going back at as an NBA player is a little bit different. We all know, but I mean, going home is going home. Mm -hmm. It always feels good, especially when you're away from them for so long. At what point did you in your life did you think that NBA was realistic? Was it in college or in college? Mm -hmm. In college. So for them to let me go and go to college, I was distant from them. And then this is about five, six years I haven't been back. Mm -hmm. So coming back as an NBA player is like, man, it was well worth the wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you started playing competitive basketball junior year of high school. Is that right? Junior year, high school, yeah. Uh, what what took so long? I had no interest in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mean it is a. I wasn't that tall. Ways. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't have the. I didn't have the physical ability I have now. So, I had a nice growth spurt, and the coach worked with me, and it just went from there. I didn't. I really didn't have any interest. And in New York City, I mean, you gotta. You gotta bring it. So I wasn't in a city where basketball was just. Oh, he plays basketball. He doesn't. Basketball is big time in New York. So, I didn't have what. It, I didn't have what it takes when it was like an eighth grade and things like that. So, it took me a little while. How many inches did you grow? What was it between sophomore and junior year? Or? Yeah, I grew about seven inches. Did you? Really? Seven yeah. inches. Wow. Six two to six seven, six eight, something like that. Were you, were you a playground player or nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Didn't have no inches. <laughs> were there other sports that you like more? I played football. Played tight end. Played baseball. Catcher. So I had interest in there, but I mean, just did it just to stay active. Is it tough to crouch down as a catcher when you're like 6'7", oh, 6'8"? Yeah. yeah, I actually had those. I invested in those knee savers myself Oof. with my allowance. <laughs> How far are you from Brooklyn? Mm, you're in Queens, about a 30 minute drive. About a 30 minute drive. Probably about a 20 minute train ride. Were you a Knicks fan at all, or once you started playing basketball? Yeah, Knicks. I mean, hometown. Knicks and Mets. What would that mean to you to play at Madison Square Garden? Oh man, like we was talking, this is big time. I mean, Madison Square Garden is is big time in New York for everything. Yeah. It's like the centerpiece for everything. So to go there and actually be on that court is, is going to mean a lot. And I never got a chance to play there, so mm -hmm. it'll be big. How long did it take for you to pick up, you know, and become good in, in basketball? Were you a starter immediately at your high school? Or? Yeah, my senior year started. I was the tallest kid returning. So I walked into that starting position. I did fairly well, but I continued to work. And when I got to college, I happened to fall in the lap of some coaches that really wanted to help me. And how the growth just kept going forward. How many colleges came after you? Was it just Norfolk or? I had a couple of interests, interests, but only one offer. Oh, really? Norfolk State mm -hmm. was the only student to offer me. So. Any, any big town schools who showing you interest? Or no. You kind of below the radar? Yeah, way below the radar. Did that make you work harder? Or, you know, you yeah, when you, when, I, when, when, when you, I mean, your next goal after high school is to get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So we did that. But then when you realize the situation and you're like, man, I got to work my way up. I got to work. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Norfolk State and the coaches enlightened me on the situation, I was like, all right, well, let's do it. What year, when did you give up baseball? Mm, 10th grade, 10th grade. Because you got too tall? Yeah, it was a little, it was a little tough. It was a little tough. Yeah. Playing catcher and <laughs> I had no experience at no other position, so it was a little tough to switch in high school. So you weren't on the whole AAU circuit like Kyle, I mean like uh, Mo and some of these guys who no. spent their whole life playing? No, 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 no. You, you were new to it, huh? New to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you think about this guy? I love this, man. I love this. <laughs> Has the NBA been what you thought it would be? I mean, when you're sitting in your college dorm watching on TV, I mean, everybody has their dreams of what it will be. Mm -hmm. What's it been like? It's been it's been a lot. A learning experience every day, most definitely. But it's a lot it's a lot harder than people think. Um, you sit on TV, all you see is the games. You don't see the time you put in to actually go out and play. So. It's a lot of traveling, things like that. You don't think about those things when you just want to be on that court, but mm -hmm. I want to say I'm, it's, it's a blessing to be here. You 
you enjoy the, the, the journey. You enjoy the journey. How many people you think you'll have at the games Monday and Wednesday? Well, since I'm not buying tickets, um, <laughs> probably probably a couple, like six, seven. Mm -hmm. My close family. Good, Good deal. Thank All you, right. man. Thank Appreciate you, Kyle. Appreciate it. Yeah.